message here on the telephone Cause we've no idea when we're coming home I could get you. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. I would love it if you subscribed and stuck around. In the vlog, you guys saw the little montage of just what we've been doing the past couple days. I took a couple days off because I have a slower work month this month and so honestly, I'm just really tired. So I was down to not vlog for a couple days and uh, yeah, I was much needed. I'm being 100% serious when I say I really don't know if I am just exhausted or if I seriously have postpartum depression. Um, like, this is not a joke at all. Like, I really don't feel like getting up and doing, like, getting ready for the day. I just want to lay in bed all day and sleep with her. And my motivation is just so low right now. I don't feel like vlogging. I just feel like laying on the couch, hanging out with her. I don't even feel like going anywhere because it just takes so long. But we did get out with some friends this weekend, so that helped. We like met them for a little picnic. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like going through this phase where I think I'm just exhausted, but I really don't know. Um, just like everything. I think maybe it's just, just all catching up with us. But it's just like very hard to be motivated to vlog and like put our life on the internet when we are exhausted <laughs> and she wakes up every two hours and it's been like that for like a month now so um it's definitely more than we were like we're waking up more now than we were when she was a newborn which is crazy um i felt like she slept away better when she was a newborn which they are always so sleepy anyway but i just feel like i'm kind of going through something so is colin like we're good colin and i are good but we're just tired so yeah finding motivation lately has just been not happening but also um, that's just part of life right now and I'm like not trying to put too much pressure on myself. So Yeah That's where I've been though and what we've been doing and Yeah, I'm just trying to like still do the things every single day that I love like go work out and have like me time But I'm just so tired and today's like the first day I actually got ready and put makeup on in a hot minute So that's a step forward in the right direction, but yeah, I've just been feeling really down lately Y'all were a little ruthless in the comments of my last video too, which like doesn't make me excited to vlog or like put any of our life on the internet. Um, but I love my job. I love that this is my job and I love being able to do this. So um, some, days, some days you just need a break. It's like not natural how much content we consume, how much we put our lives on the internet. Although it is fun and it's rewarding and I chose to do this and I wouldn't have it any other way. Sometimes I think it's important just to take like a little mental health day and sometimes just not consume any content or social media or do anything at all, which is what I've really been trying to do the past couple of days. I finished two books, which I need to tell you about. And also Colin dropped my cup on the ground on accident and I lost a handle. So I reached out to Stanley. They actually have a lifetime warranty, so I'm getting sent a new one, which is good. Um, but yeah, we've just been not busy. We haven't been busy at all. We've honestly just been like chilling, <laughs> like taking some time for us just to relax and stuff and pay attention to her. And she's just so fun right now. So it's been nice just to like focus on being with her and like fully in the moment and not having to vlog. But I'm actually feeling a little bit more inspired and in getting back into things. So I'm starting this vlog at almost six o'clock on a Wednesday. So, um, all day earlier today we were just getting things done um but yeah that's just a little life update i'm just really tired and honestly don't feel like doing a whole lot a lot of the time which is again like that's hard to vlog when i don't want to do anything but just like relax and hang out here and just chill and sleep so when i can take little naps throughout the day like when she's sleeping so anyway just being honest besides that 
moving forward if you have something that you want to say or comment on the video and um you know just everyone's entitled to their own opinion but i would really like for us to all live under the same rule here where if you have something this if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all we are a new brand new parents brand new family really just trying to survive right now and like make it through and i really don't need your um personal opinions on anything because we are in a very vulnerable place right now postpartum is very hard and doing the best that you can do is honestly really hard sometimes so yeah maybe just keep that in mind next time you're talking to somebody or anyone who just had a baby and that's all i'll say about that um normally comments don't really get to me but since we are in such a emotional fragile state i just wanted to say that because we're not perfect over here our apartment's a disaster half the time because i find it impossible to keep things clean when i'm keeping up with a husband a baby and a dog and myself honestly and we just are trying to survive we learn things as we go i am not perfect i will never do anything perfect my house will never look perfect like a bunch of people you follow probably who have everything aesthetically put away and in places like we we have a family of four now and a less than 1200 square foot apartment like there's not that much room for us and when you have a baby you end up accumulating a lot of things our financial situation is fine like everyone just don't worry about us okay just worry about yourself and my goal is to just put out content that kind of like makes you guys enjoy watching and like escape from your day-to-day -day things and just have it be an entertainment value as well as like things here and there i don't know i don't have a niche we just post whatever we're doing in our life at the moment and i just want it to be entertaining and like bring you guys joy and happiness and that's all that i don't even know what i'm saying now i just had to get that little rant out of the way um but there are a few things i want to show you before we get into the vlog i don't you can probably hear her set jump 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 that's where she is um okay so aside from me getting a new stanley cup i ordered this thing it's called the quick fix cup and it was so inexpensive it comes in a pack of two and you put it in your straw area to keep your straw from leaking when you knock it over so i just had to share that i will have this link down below but the worst part about the stanley cup and like in my opinion this is the only bad part is when it leaks when you knock it over she's kind of getting over it but it just goes right in here and then a ring goes around here so it can't leak at all okay we're just gonna include her in our little chat so um uh -oh. the two books that i finished this book was the golden couple by greer Hendricks and sarah pekinen i recommend this book a lot both of the books that i'm going to tell you guys about that i read are thrillers um but this book is by the same authors who wrote the the wife between us an anonymous girl and you are not alone i've read all three they're so good i highly recommend reading this one too it was really good did not guess um the ending at all well kind of i was catching on but the end was truly so good so i'm very impressed with that and then the last book that i read until the one that i'm reading right now is the secrets of us this book i um heard Mm, claudia oshrey oshrey from the morning toast recommend and it was on kindle unlimited and she said it was such a quick read and actually a really good thriller and it was such a quick read and actually a really good thriller i've heard nothing about this book until she recommended it um in a podcast last week and so i added it to my goodreads and i was like okay i'll read this one next and i flew through it and i did not guess the end either it was really good and um just one thing i did not see coming happened and it was really good so i recommend these they're on my goodreads so you guys can see books that i've read and then this one's by lucinda berry and then right now i'm reading heart bones by colleen hoover and i'm about 20 percent in so i just started that yesterday so far so good but you guys know i'm obsessed with colleen hoover books and i love colleen hoover in general so we're not surprised that i like that one so far and then carrying on with my little i'm gonna move you guys right here thing i need to show you guys my amazon order we might end up doing that well we could do it today but I ordered these shoes off of Madewell and they're so cute. So I had to show you, they're under a hundred dollars 
and I even got a 20% off discount code, which is why I like finally ordered them. But I was uh, searching for a fall sneaker. These have like, um, is it suede? What is this material? Someone help me. It's like the soft, I feel like it's suede. Anyways, um, I just thought that they'd be really cute for fall and I tried them on and I put them on my foot and they look so good on. So I just got these in the mail. They're like a good neutral tennis shoe. In the fall, I love wearing these with like leggings. Um, sweat sets, anything like that. My favorite sweat sets are from Set Active and um, I don't know, just like a comfy sneaker to throw on. You can even wear with like jeans or whatever. So I got those two. Editing this vlog, finally, I'm gonna put it up for you guys. So while I was editing, I realized worst situation possible, my camera just shut off recording when I was gonna show you guys my Amazon haul. So here I am now showing you guys um, really quick so I can fit this into the vlog. So I got three little bags and I'm obsessed. They kind of remind me of the Stony Clover bags. So this one says skin and this one I got for my diaper bag. I'm obsessed. And then this one says glam. So I got those three really, really, really obsessed with those. And then let me show you these baby clothes that I got. This one, don't sleep on Amazon baby clothes. You guys are actually so good and this print is really cute too. And then how adorable is this? It goes around her neck like this and it's again a little jumpsuit situation with an open back. Unfortunately, since I hauled this like days ago now, I've been wearing some of this stuff. So I'm going to try and remember like everything <laughs> to include, but I haven't worn this yet. So I pulled it back out of my closet. It's a knit romper, buttons up like this and comes down, has pockets on the side and it is such a good quality i got a large so it's oversized or maybe i got an extra large i feel like this is a large and i'm normally like a medium in rompers okay i also got this t-shirt that i'm wearing right now i got this in pink and i got this in black as well i've already worn the black one i wore it in this vlog actually to go i don't know if i vlogged that day actually i may have vlogged but i whatever it looks just like this but it's black i can't remember what i vlogged and didn't vlog here's the pink they're so soft to you guys i don't own anything from skims but i've been wanting to make an order so i might do that soon but actually i can't even sit here and be like it might be a skims too because i don't know so i'll let you know one day whenever i make a skims order i just don't know what to get from skims i know like the fits everybody collection is kind of what i'm leaning towards but i just need to figure it out and then i got this tank top to work out in so cute and i got this in black as well this is a really good lulu dupe for sure hold on one second a couple more things i pulled these out of the dirty clothes i wore this literally today to work out and it was so good and the back is like the little cross back like a lululemon tank um where these uh bike shorts are inside out right now because i literally took them off and then this like it's like the perfect tee like cropped tee amazing so good really good dupe i haven't been really wanting to get lululemon yet but i might place an order because i want to get the groove pants and a scuba zip up so i might do that soon this is my amazon order i also put it on tiktok so if you want to go look over there because i feel like i am missing some things i'll go look over there ready for the bath we're all ready bath time we got a naked baby naked baby ready for the bath Okay, here we go. Bath time. Mm. Yay. All sudden's in the bath. Let me show you guys the rings. Here, I'll just put them on me really quick. I got a pinky ring, and I also got, like, a ring for my middle finger. So here they are. This one has, like, diamonds. I can't even believe these are from Amazon because of how good of the quality it is. But it's, like, little fake diamonds wrapped all the way around. And then this one is a pinky ring and it's just a little heart, but I really like these. And also, um, if you did like your wedding band, like this one for wedding band inspo, oh wait, it's messed up. Here's some wedding band inspo. Would this not be so pretty if you did something like this, like with a really thick, maybe like a little more thin and maybe like it will sit better. But I know that this is really in right now to do something like this. I actually got a new pair of like pillow slides. These I wear like all the time. So I ordered these from Amazon too, but they have like the little ripple in them. I'm gonna put them on so you guys can see the difference. 
but yeah i just wear these so often so i got another pair for like fall these are just nicer more new i've had these for like two years now morning Sutton's about to go down for her first nap you gonna look and say hi where's a new day the good day a treat that stands out leave the victim's home maybe or something but definitely going Two and a half hours. Dude, my nap was so good. <gasps> good morning. <laughs> okay. Wow. I need to clean my mirror, but I wanted to show you guys because this is the black tank top that I showed you guys yesterday from Amazon and it fits so good. I got a medium, which is also a size eight. Um, and I read that it runs a little large and it does. So that's why I got a medium or else I probably would have gotten a large. Here's the back. I'm so impressed with this. I'm so glad I got it in white too. And now I'm probably going to go order it in every single color because I love it so much. It's really good. I'm just calling and sitting reading the book right now. Fat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not is what Freddy said. Jess came out with a uh, always pan that's smaller for like, it's like a smaller pan than this one. And cause this one goes on like the large burner and I really want it. We use that pan all the time. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. Here was my outfit today. A little free people sweater shirt thing and some Target shorts. So if you guys have been following along for a hot minute now, you guys will know that I've been struggling with getting my milk supply up and it's finally up and I wanted to share exactly what I did to get it up in case you're in the same situation or in case like one day if you ever have a baby and you find it hard to keep your milk supply up after it regulates. Um, you guys can reference refer back to this but this is what i do every single day religiously and i've done it since we got back from south carolina so it's been almost two months now that it's taken me to be able to raise up my milk supply consistently and so example just at my pump alone last night i got over eight ounces and before i was barely getting four ounces so yeah, I just wanted to share every, sing every single thing that I do. First things first, I take the legendary milk liquid gold supplements throughout the day. So that's six total pills throughout the day. I drink two body armors, guys. So I drink two of these lactation bites. So I've gotten to the point now where I'm just literally so lazy I don't even put it into balls and I just eat it throughout the day. I'll have the recipe in the description box for you guys. I eat probably like 10-ish size, like it would be 10 balls a day of this. And it's so good. So I'll have the recipe that's below. Like I never get tired of it. It's that good. Hello. Okay. Wait, I'm telling them how I got my milk supply. I drink over a gallon of water a day to eat lots of carbs and lots of calories you have to make sure you eat your calories some of the ingredients in the lactation bites are brewer's yeast and flaxseed meal so i make a green smoothie and add more brewer's yeast and flaxseed meal about a tablespoon of each into my smoothie i'm just drinking this now you can't taste it and it's really good um in my smoothie it's like oat milk spinach strawberry banana brewer's yeast flaxseed meal oatmeal Oh yeah, oatmeal, it needs to go in there too. Those three are very important and they're all in the lactation bite recipe. So oatmeal, flaxseed meal, and brewer's yeast. I'll go in my smoothie. And then... Bananas? <laughs> yeah, I already said that though. Woo! And peanut butter and honey, but that doesn't matter. I'm just telling you what's in my smoothie. Um, and then that's all I do for like consumption wise. You have to make sure you're eating a lot of calories. You have to make sure you're drinking a lot of water. And all those other things that I mentioned. And aside from that, I feed her about every two hours. And after I feed her for every like time, every single time, after I'm done, I pump for 15 minutes to tell your body that it needs more milk. And then at night, before I go to sleep, I power pump for an hour, um, not an hour consistently. So you do 20 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on, 
10 minutes off and then your final 10 minutes. So all in all, you're pumping for 40 minutes, but it takes an hour. So I power pump at night before I go to bed. Also, ever since we got back from South Carolina, we've been doing middle of the night feeds. So if your baby's sleeping through the night, I highly suggest either pumping in the middle of the night or feeding your baby in the middle of the night. That has helped me out tremendously. And that is what I do. It is very time consuming and it's taken a lot of work, but the other option was to supplement with formula. And I really just, like if I can breastfeed, I wanted to do it. I enjoy breastfeeding and I didn't want to give up. So I do that, I still do that. But I've gone from pumping barely four ounces to pumping almost nine. So nine sometimes, but around like seven or seven to nine a night. And I'm just really proud of that. So it's taken a lot of work and a lot of dedication, but that is exactly how I did it. And now like she's gaining a lot of weight. She's a thick, thick girl. She loves <laughs> getting a bottle at night. Um, but yeah, that's just what I've done to, we have Tangle playing in the background, I'm so sorry. That is what I've done to up my milk supply. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna go feed her, I'm done with telling them. And it's worked, and it does, it's like a lot of, it takes a lot of your time, honestly, but at the end of the day, like it's, my time's less important than her being fed. And I really dedicated myself to getting it up, and now I'm just gonna keep doing that until I feel like my supply has regulated and my body knows that this is how much she needs. So, yeah. A fed baby's a happy baby. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, hi, are watching daddy cook? Look at this outfit for you. Do you like it? It's so cute, Murphy likes it. More of my Amazon stuff try on. Here's a little t-shirt. I've just been wearing it, this stuff over the past few days. Here's the t-shirt, I'm getting ready to go Target. Go to Target. Here are the leggings. So yeah, they're a little short. I'm trying to stretch them out. We just ran in and ran out of Target. That was a really quick little trip. I got some more of my liquid gold supplement, which is like absolutely essential for me. I'm breastfeeding, so I already took that and it's back in, oh my god, I can't get this little. There you go. Here, I'll show you guys. Main reason why I went there was for this supplement to help with my breastfeeding and trash bags, and then also left with some detergent, and then some popcorn, and also some cookies. You know, for a night that we're feeling fun this weekend, so that's that. And then I left with two books. So I got The Rainbow Fish, which I've read this before when I was younger. And then we also got How to Charm a Llama because it looks cool. And then also like the inside is super bright and she loves pictures. We'll read this tomorrow. We can read it. Oh, we can read it tonight before we go to bed. We'll read this right now. Um, okay, and then I also left with a candle. And I had to tell you guys this because you need to go get it. It's called Birch and Amber. And I literally got the big one because it smells so good. And I cannot recommend it enough. I'm gonna burn it as soon as I put her to sleep. So that's my little target haul. We're gonna read a book and then go to sleep. Sound good? Good morning. I did actually take more days off from vlogging because I just felt like it. So we're back Monday. So I figured we'd start off a new week, new vlog. And you know, just get it done. Trying to get re-inspired with vlogging again. You know, when you do something all the time, sometimes it's easy to get to be like burnt out and tired of, you know, you know, especially when we're not really doing very much throughout the day. But here we are. I just put Sutton down for her first nap of the day. Colin went and got us coffee from Waterbean. So we've got our caffeine. I'm about to make breakfast and get ready for the day. But yeah, I did take some days off. It was good for the mental health, but now we're back. Figured since I've been having like, just like feeling down, not necessarily down lately, but just like tired and moving and stuff, I've been trying to go on those daily walks. So we're going on a walk um, since Sutton's taking a nap. So yeah, also I have to go get some packages. So we're gonna do a little two for one. He's excited. Another box. 
Clifton 8s, got these for Orange Theory. Currently wearing my bond, oh wait, yeah, yeah, Bondi 8 on my feet right now. Way more, you know what, let's just do a quick comparison. Clifton 8s, Bondi 8s. So you can see the Bondi has like a way bigger, this is called the sole than the Clifton 8s. Here's the difference. They do look very different. Okay, let me try these on. Look at Here's the difference. Clifton's Bond Eyes. Murphy. Sit. They're both so comfortable though. These are a little bit heavier than my Nobles. I like Nobles because they're super light, but these are still light. I just can tell that they're a little heavier. They're more slim for sure. telling you guys because he's a bomb and so we don't know if he has kennel cough or if it's like an upper respiratory thing so he's going to be going to the vet tomorrow um to see or fuzzy i mean we sent videos of him and stuff and yeah i'm telling you guys fuzzy's awesome and we literally are so grateful for it but um because our vet was literally so busy today and they couldn't even they didn't even call me back so that's, that's yes that's good said for sure that they think it's kennel cough but just to be sure anyway that's on that i was worried about murphy pretty much all day today and then it was all of a sudden it was sutton's nighttime routine and it's been taking us forever to get her to bed and our, our life is just like much so a routine right now like we do the same thing all the time con goes to the grocery store i go to target we put sutton down for naps we play with her and we're i and con we and that's pretty much like our life so I don't know, I feel like we're just in such a repetition right now. But, you know, here we are, we're still vlogging. Um, but I do have two book reviews to give you guys. And I'm doing two because I can't remember the last one that I did. But I've read Heartbones and Regretting You, both by Colleen Hoover. Heartbones for me, five out of five, so good. I loved Heartbones. And um, I just kind of felt like it was a little bit different than what she normally does. I feel like that book's really underrated and definitely read Heartbones. I give it Regretting You a 4 out of 5. I really like the beginning of Regretting You um, because it was really good. Um, but then just like as I was reading, here's the Regretting You cover. That's the last thing that I read. I need to do a book review on my Instagram next. But as I like kept reading and reading and reading, it was good. It just wasn't my favorite Colleen Hoover book ever. So I would recommend reading both of them. Um, Regretting You is about a um, teenage girl and her mom and like kind of like their conflicts within like a family drama situation. And I mean, it was good. I just liked Heartbones better. And I like her other books better than Regretting You. And then Heartbones is about a girl who grew up very, very poor and more family drama and she's a teenager and so she's kind of had to like raise herself and she ends up going to live with her dad and it's just very good i would really recommend reading it but yeah murphy do is not feeling good so we're gonna tend to sick murph and i don't know what i'm gonna read next but i also am gonna wash my hair tomorrow so i'm gonna go put my oil stuff from way in my hair do a little oil treatment con's making a creamy sausage pasta all right, Colin just turned the lights off. Here's what the pasta looks like. We might have to just do this. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look so good? We are, they put Father of the Bride and Father of the Bride 2 on Disney Plus, so I've been watching this. Next 
day. <gasps> no. Um, I still have not washed my hair. And Colin leaves for Montana next month. So also we've just been trying to spend lots of time with him because he's going to be gone for like a month and a half. And I don't know if we're going to be able to go visit him. We're still waiting to hear on the, you know what, let me, I'll be right back. Colin. Did you ever talk to Josh yesterday about Montana? Okay, anyways, we're still trying to find out more details about that, like when exactly he is leaving, where in Montana it even is, so we can hopefully go visit him, and I can book our flights, because we would have to, like, pay to go visit him. We can't go visit him for free, but my uncle lives in Idaho, so we might stop by Idaho, too, um, because I would need to bring my mom with me out, because I'm just not into solo travel right now with baby, but anyways, next day wearing a sweatshirt with a stain on it. I need to do laundry. I'm so behind on my laundry, it's not even funny. Because, oh, also we have to take Murray to the vet. Doing that, I'm gonna oil treatment up my hair. And then my friend Kara is about to have a baby like any day now. So I'm putting together a little package that I need to get sent out to her. Um, Cause it's like put some postpartum things, a bunch of diapers and stuff like that. Here, I'm using the Whey Scalp Serum. And a bunch of people said to use Divi, but I have this. And I, I honestly can't tell if it's working or not. Divi is like a Danny Austin's brand, and I'm sure hers would work because she literally was suffering from like extreme hair loss, and now her hair looks really good. So if I'm not seeing results with the Way one, then I might switch over to Divi. Also, I need to make breakfast. We got us coffee. Murph, you okay? Goodness. Hi guys. Oh, wow. So here you go. Here you go. Now we're still editing it, realizing I never even ended this vlog. So I'm just gonna end the vlog. This vlog was literally so all over the place, but I promise the next one is already better than this one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know who's calling me right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, just bear with us and stick around. I'm excited for the next vlog. And <laughs> thank you for watching this one. And I will see you guys in my next one.